thank you for clicking on the video I'm here today at Nermimic. We are going to do a 100% flip through of Dungeons and Dragons Characters and Quests. This just got released on September 26, 2023. It's part of the Young Adventures Guide series for which there are eight other books. So this would be book nine. They're all hardcover and they're a joy to read. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what to expect from this as I haven't actually cracked it open yet thought we'd have fun to do that together. Before we do that, hopefully you can hit that like and subscribe and share this content with friends to get this uh, young channel started so we can reach our goal of a thousand subscribers. And we have free giveaways, including a, a first edition D&D &D module down below. Thank you for listening to that. And let's get started. So I suppose we should flip it to the back here. And it says here, this creative workbook will help you Build a unique character and send them on an incredible journey. Capture your character's backstory, talents, and goals. Gather an adventuring party and describe their quests. Equip your adventure with armor and magic items. Customize spells, potions, and enchantments. Draft plans for daily dungeon and more. So this is called the workbook. So I'm not sure what that entails. We'll find out. Um, the other thing I want to make note is the size of this book. Most of the books in this series, such as this book, which came out a couple weeks ago, it's uh, this book is actually a little bit smaller in size. You can see that. Maybe I'll throw it, show it on edge here. So most of the books are the smaller size. This is actually larger. This actually does match the size of this other book, The Monsters and Creatures compendium which just came out as well about a month ago so this matches the size exactly all right all right so let's crack this open usually these books have uh, fresh art not recycled art so here got a ship Maybe uh, some stranded sailors or villagers. Maybe like at the start of uh, the treasure hunt module. N4. This story is yours. An introduction to your adventure. And table contents. The story is yours. Your adventure. Your adventuring party. The arsenal. Adventure calls. Dangers abound. Life is an adventure. I got this tiefling being chased. Got a flump here. Who are you? In the world of Dungeons and Dragons, you experience a fantastical realm through the eyes of a unique character called an adventurer. All right, so you can see here, they're already incorporating the one D&D rule set and replacing the term races with species. So you got the human, elf, you know, all the other various species here you can see. Even the portals here at the end. And they have some traits there, I suppose. Your class here. Barbarian, paladin, fighter, monk, ranger, rogue. Bard, Cleric, Druid, Sorcerer, Warlock, Wizard. I don't see any main differences there. Choosing a class. Magical classes. I guess a little flow sheet to help uh, young teens uh, determine what they want to do with their character. More into combat. Martial classes, more into magic. So once again, this uh, series is geared towards young adventurers. They're talking about teens and preteens. So my daughter would fit into that category at age nine. So whether they play with a fellow adults or among themselves. So here you can see you're supposed to write in or maybe photocopy this for my daughter, but write in what you want to do you can add your birthday languages spoke 
can make a little portrait of your character. Space to add a backstory, I suppose. Oh, a lot of blank spaces in this book. It's more like a journal. Everyone is from somewhere. Illustrate a scene from your past. Family matters. What is your character's family like? So that is probably more detail I ever put into any of my characters I created when I was a kid decades ago. Big risks, big rewards. Becoming an adventurous risk. But there's, but it's one of many, but it's one that many are proud to take. They might dwell into dangerous dungeon one day, save a town from monsters the next, or fall through a portal into another plane. Some became famous, while others can barely afford a bed for the night. Adventures hit the road for many reasons. Gold, glory, or fighting the wrong. Describe why your character has become adventurous. Did your character grow up knowing any other adventures? Write out the conversation here. All right, so flaws and weaknesses. Your fears. So if you can list those out. A motto or maybe a catchphrase for your character. Your adventuring party. More spaces to write. Yeah, this is like a journal. Getting your party started. All right, so who your maybe NPCs would be or your hirelings. A group portrait of your adventuring party. Naming your party. Draw your party's icon below. What is your party's origin story? So it's almost like uh, creating your own critical role background. Heroes, zeros, and everything in between. So I guess prompting them with uh, little short vignettes from the blank. Family, friends, or frenzies. More, like the same. The arsenal. Put the tough and stuff. What's in your pack? So, all these different items you could pick. 50 foot rope. 10 foot pull. That would, that's always helpful in the Tomb of Wars. Draw your pack and the items you circle besides it. Uh, oh, sorry. Draw your pack and the items you circled besides it. Dress for success. Arm yourself. Your most reliable friend. Various weapons here, of course. Drawing your weapon specifically. Magic items. A wizard's favor. So what reward you would get if he enchanted one of your items. Draw your custom enchanted object here. I guess my daughter would like this. She's into art and probably would have a lot of fun depicting all of her magic items on her character. So next up we have spell casters and spell masters. And here I guess you create your own spell. You could name the spell. You can list the components needed to craft a spell, the effect it does. What does it feel like to cast a spell? 
uh, has keywords you could use. This is almost like a creative writing exercise here. Adventure calls, places to go, dungeons to delve into. Here and there and everywhere in between, draw your party's mode of transportation or travel below. Write your character's diary entry from the day they arrive on this special, uh, in this special place. Some words you could use to title your adventure, like name your own module, I suppose. Describe one or, or two of the adventures you titled. Lich, Emmy Lich, maybe from uh, Tomb of War. A time for action. Choose one character and one scenario from the diagram on the opposite page. All over the map, describe the most dangerous place your party has been to. Describe a lost or hidden place your party discovered. Illustrate a scene from one of the places you describe on the opposite page. So maybe after your child plays D&D some, they could add more to this journal. Downtime, draw your party hanging out at the end of a long day. Write a snippet of dialogue that occurs in your illustrated scene. A dungeon of one's own, setting the scene. Location, location, location. Draw the entrance to your dungeon. The dungeon master. Who built this dungeon and why? Are they still there? Legend has it. Draw the secret or treasure at the heart of your dungeon here. It's a trap. And it's your trap. You can describe or set your trap there. Draw and describe two dastardly traps here. The monsters at the end of this dungeon. Write a conversation between two monsters that live in the dungeon. I never, would never have thought to do that, but that's cool. Map maker. So things to consider for a budding dungeon master to be aware of. Got your standard square grid here. Dangers abound. Epic adventures require epic adversaries. Your big time baddie. Draw your foe. So populating your dungeon. Write a page from your villain's diary. So creating their own Vecma. This is a bard with fame. Draw your character as a villain and consider if they would have the same powers, equipment, or clothing. So a mental exercise there. Monsters and creatures. What is the grossest creature you ever encountered? It's a monster, but it's your monster. Draw your party's pet. All right. So creating your own list of monsters here. Monster names, special powers. You can draw a portrait of the monster for ice, desert environments, forest and grassland, and of the underdark. On the plane of water, plane of air, Shadowfell, Feywild, into the dragon's den. Short little description of each of the ten core giant dragons there. Hmm. So maybe you can make your own dragon. Dragon's den activity. Assuming dragons are big, you need two pages to draw that out. Life is an adventure. Level up and look to the future. Some cool artwork here. Expert or beginner. Big time heroes. Gold. 
What does each party member do with the rewards? Describe how your party lives in style. Choose one of the elements on the opposite page to illustrate here. Their journey never truly ends. Write out the lyrics of a song of a bard would sing about your famous adventuring party. Draw your full party after years of venturing together. Wow, that's a lot of detail to invest there. Some notes. And that is it. Got a black dragon on the back. So, this is so a couple other details I noticed about this book after going through it. Um, the author is different from the others. It, this is written by Sarah Sherb. The other books have been authored by Jim Zub. Now, the other main difference I've noticed is this publisher. This is published by Clarkson Potter Publishers. And the other books in this series, all other eight books, they are published by 10 Speed Press. So putting the books side by side again, you can see at the bottom, there's different publisher logos. I suppose they try to keep stuff consistent with the font here. This Dungeons and Dragons, it's the same font, but smaller, maybe to fit the spine. So, also at the bottom here, you know, all these say, of course, the Adventures Guide. This says it's the workbook. They do mimic the gold border, but here, all the other books have it going all the way around, and here it's just on the title here. So, definitely some differences in its design, and it's sort of odd that they have a different publisher. I'm not sure why. Maybe they had to use different paper to make this uh, publication. The texture of this paper is more rough. The other books here, the paper is more glossy. I don't know if you could tell, but there's definitely more of a shine to these pages, as these definitely have more artwork within it. So I'm assuming that uh, the paper is the main reason, um, as glossy would not work if you're writing in it. All right. So what do you guys think about the book? Would you pick this up? Would you find it helpful for yourself or your kids? Uh, I know as an adult, I'm not sure if I would actually need this book. I mean, there are some ideas I never had a, uh, before, like maybe creating a conversation between the monsters themselves or that in depth of a backstory to uh, my character. Um, so I suppose maybe I'll keep it around for my daughter to take a look and see what she thinks. Um, and so I'll keep it for now, but yeah, I, I might actually just return this. We'll see. So hopefully this information was helpful for you guys to make your own decision about picking up this book or not. Thank you for taking the time to go through this with me. Keep on adventuring out there, guys.